Today, we will learn how to configure the stacking function on Cloud Engine 8800, Cloud Engine 7800, Cloud Engine 6800, and Cloud Engine 5800 switches. The stacking function virtualizes multiple physical switches into a single logical switch. These physical switches are connected into a stack using cables. This function simplifies the network topology, configuration, and maintenance, and increases network bandwidth and number of ports. The following introduces the roadmap of setting up a stack on switches. 1. Perform stack configuration on each switch based on the network planning and restart these switches. 2. Connect the switches using stack cables to set up a stack. 3. After confirming that the stack has been set up successfully, configure the DAD function to detect the stack split. Next, we will learn stack connection requirements. Stack member switches are connected using logical stack ports. Each switch has two logical stack ports, each of which can contain a maximum of 16 physical member ports. These switches can be connected into a chain or ring topology. If two switches need to set up a stack, they can be connected into a chain topology. If three or more switches need to set up a stack to ensure high reliability, connect them into a ring topology. Let's focus on the process of setting up a stack. The following example uses a stack of two switches. Switch 1 is designed as the master switch. First, configure the stacking function on the two switches one by one. Configure stack attributes, including the stack member ID, stack priority, and stack domain ID. Create a logical stack port and add physical member ports to it. After you complete the preceding configurations, save the switch configuration and restart it. Note that the two switches must have the same stack domain ID, otherwise they cannot set up a stack. Switch 1 is designed as the master switch, so its stack priority must be higher than that of switch 2. Now we will perform operations on the switches as a demonstration. First, configure switch 1. Log in to switch 1, enter the stack management view, and set its stack priority to 150 and stack domain ID to 10. The default stack member ID of a switch is 1. Assume that switch 1 uses the default stack member ID. Therefore, you do not need to configure a stack member ID for switch 1. Create a logical stack port and add ports 1 to 4 to it. After you complete these configurations, run the display stack configuration command to check whether the stack configuration for the next startup is consistent with the expected configuration. After confirming that the configurations are consistent, save the switch configuration and restart switch 1. Configure Switch 2 after configuring Switch 1. Log in to Switch 2, enter the Stack Management view, and set its Stack Member ID to 2, Stack Priority to 100, and Stack Domain ID to 10, the same Stack Domain ID as Switch 1. Then create a logical stack port and add the ports connected to Switch 1 to the logical stack port. Run the Display Stack Configuration command to check whether the stack configuration is consistent with the expected configuration. After confirming that the configurations are consistent, save the switch configuration and restart switch 2. After the two switches are configured and restart, connect them using stack cables. The two switches then set up a stack. Wait for several minutes, log in to switch 1, and run the display stack command to check whether a stack is set up. If you can view information about the two switches, the stack has been set up successfully. After confirming that the stack has been set up, configure the DAD function to detect the stack split. Two DAD modes are commonly used, DAD in direct mode and DAD in relay mode. In direct mode, DAD is performed using the dedicated link between the two stitches. When configuring the direct mode, connect the two switches and enable DAD on their connected interfaces. In relay mode, DAD is performed using the inner device aggregation link between the stack and upstream and downstream devices. When configuring the relay mode, enable DAD on the link aggregation interfaces of the stack and enable the relay function on the link aggregation interfaces of the relay agent. Note that the direct mode and relay mode cannot be configured simultaneously in the same stack. After you complete the preceding configurations, run the save command immediately to save the stack configuration. The preceding content describes the process of setting up a stack of two switches. If the stack cannot be set up, can you locate and rectify this fault?
First, check all switch models against the corresponding product manual or stack assistant tool to determine whether the switches can set up a stack together. If they cannot set up a stack together, replace them with the switches they can. Check whether the stack configurations of the switches are correct. For example, check whether their stack domain IDs are the same and whether they have the stack offline configuration. If their stack configurations are incorrect, modify their stack configurations. Check whether the stack connections between the switches meet requirements stated in the corresponding product manual. If the stack connections do not meet stack connection requirements, correct the stack connections. Check whether ports used for stack connections are up. If not, check whether optical modules and fibers are faulty. If optical modules or fibers are faulty, replace them. Then run the display stack troubleshooting command to check whether stack failures occur. This command records stack setup failures, including configuration errors and connection errors. Troubleshoot these failures according to the failure event description. If the fault persists, collect the configuration and log information of the switches and contact technical support personnel. That brings us to the end of the stack setup process and troubleshooting of Cloud Engine 8800, Cloud Engine 7800, Cloud Engine 6800, and Cloud Engine 5800 switches. To watch more of our Cloud Engine series switch videos, log in to Huawei Support webpage for enterprise customers. Under Support by Product, select Multimedia. On the displayed Multimedia portal, click Switch and choose a Cloud Engine series switch. Then you can view videos about that series.